here. Today we are going to be doing a uh, Christmas grapevine wreath and we're going to do it with reindeer. So this is going to be a lot of fun so let's get started. So we're going to do it with a grapevine and I have some really cute ribbon that I've been dying to use. So we're going to make this is all going to be about the ribbon. Now I do have some fun things to put on it. And I'll just show you a few. Look at that. See this has some really pretty sparkle in it. I've got some picks with some berries. And pine cones. I have this pretty pick. I have this big one. So we're going to use these. Oh, and I have some little snowballs. So we're going to use all of these and we're going to start with a nice pretty ribbon. Well, we are going to be using the Probo today. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to do a very pretty ribbon with several different I have some really pretty kind of natural and white colors that I think will go together very nicely so I have this one this has like little branches on it it's very cute. Isn't that pretty? And then I have this one with the little reindeers on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using the Provo the Hand today. This is a great thing to use because it does make it so much easier to make a bow. If you have any trouble making a bow, it's, it's so worth it. Alright, so the way that you do the Pro Bow is all of your bow, this is going to be the top of your bow, this is going to be the back, the bottom. And the way you start it is you take some floral wire, okay, and I usually start my first piece at about 28 inches or so, just like that, and I'm going to do a second one about 21 inches. longer piece is going to be the piece that you're going to use when you take it off and you tie your bow onto whatever you're going to be using. So you use this long piece first. And what you do is you take your first ribbon, the ribbon that you want to be seen up front, and for me that's going to be the one with the deer on it. You figure out how long you want your tail to be. And I'm going all the way out to F. And then you pinch it. You take that long piece in the middle. And you're just going to tie that on to your ribbon. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Probo. And you're going to hold that little piece that you just tied there. And you're going to wrap it around the top. Now you're wrapping it around the top so that you can take it off later. You take this bottom piece, there's a little nail down here. <laughs> there's a little nail down here. I just wrap it around there and then stick it underneath. Once you get this piece on, you want to take your ribbon and go to your first what's called a finger. These are called fingers. 
okay and you're gonna pinch it just like this and this is where this second piece comes in so you want to take this second piece of wire and you want to go around the piece that you already have tied in your loop and you just go one twist and then pull one piece up one piece down now the reason you're going to do that is because this is going to hold your bow in place while you're working so if you had to walk off and leave it would still be in the same place so now that we've gotten that we'll go around our second piece come back now you can keep tying them off with this second piece or you can hold it with your finger and that's what I'm going to do so I just twisted I'm holding it with my finger I'm going around another one I come back I pinch twist and go around another one come back pinch twist and go around this last one so I wanted to do two full pieces with this one so now when I come back and pinch and twist I can just take these pieces Of wire here and just pull down on it one good time like that then that holds it in place and then I cut this off so I'm done with this for a few minutes and I'll get started on my second one so we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take this I'm gonna go out to F I'm going to pinch it just like that. I'm going to put it in this wire that I have hanging out. I'll go up and down one good time and leave one down and one up. Then I'll just take this, go around my finger, come back to the center, pinch, twist. And of course you're just twisting it to get that pretty side back on the front so come back pinch twist go around another finger come back pinch twist and another finger so that's going to be it we're going to do two with this loop okay so pinch twist pull it out of the way then we take this one wire that's down and this one wire that's up and we'll twist it off one good time. Okay? And then cut our tail, put that one aside. So this is our last one that we're going to do. So we'll go out, we're going to pinch it. We're going to go up and down with that wire we have that's hanging out, just like that. Okay, go around our first finger, come back, pinch, twist. Now if you, if you have hands that hurt, you don't have to hold it with your thumb you can use this wire that's going up and down to hold it just by pulling the one that's down up and the one up that's down. That's one of the things that's great about this bow maker. Okay. So back to the center. You want to pinch it, twist it, get that pretty side back up and come down pinch, twist, I'm going to go around the last finger, come back to the middle, pinch it, twist it, 
and put it off to the side. Then I'll take my two pieces in the middle again and just tie it so that I don't have to worry about it. Now I'll cut this off and I'll put that aside. So now we've gotten the bow done so you can see here from the front that's where all of our pretty is. And one thing I can tell you about this Pro Bow is that these are adjustable so you can just put your little fingers in any one of these slots. Of course this would be a pretty big bow. I generally work on C just to give you a little idea. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece that we tied around this middle piece I'm going to take this off. This is going to be what holds our whole bow together. I'm going to take the piece out from the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to start raising this up. Now, your bow's not going to come loose, it's not going to fall off. So I can move that aside. But this is what I want to say. When you get your bow off, you want to then spend a little time taking all of these wires together and pulling really tight, tightening that up. Because you don't want your bow to come loose once you've gotten it off there. Okay, it looks kind of hot mess right now. But now I'm going to take this fluff box. Now this is just a very heavy box. You can buy this when you buy your Pro Bow or you can make one of your own. You can also just use your wreath. But what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do once I put it on my fluff box is cut a little detail. So I'm just going to fold it over away from myself like this okay do all the tails like that all right there we go now we can work on our bow So the reason that I like the fluff box is because you can pull things around pretty well on your fluff box and it will hold your bow nice and tight. So I want three tails over here, three tails over here, and so what I'll do is I'll start with the middle. So this is my middle piece, so I'll pull these apart in opposite directions, so this one, this one, this one, this one, then pull these two apart here, so you want to do this so you get to see all of the pretty parts of your bow. Okay. And the two bottom pieces just like that and just that fast you have a really pretty bow so you see how pretty that is now what we can do and fast did you see how fast that was it's pretty fast so now I will just unhook it from my fluff box I'm gonna put that aside okay I'm going to bring this back. This is my grapevine wreath, but we're going to do something a little different here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take these two ribbons right here, this one and this one, and we're going to make long tails with it. So. I'm going to take this and I'm going to measure out, let's see, we're going to 
measure out a yard. We're going to do a whole yard. So, actually, let's do a yard and 10 inches. Okay? So I'll cut that off. Then we'll put these aside. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to make some pretty tails they are going to go in this wreath. I want to have about, let's say, 26 inches coming down this way. And how much we got going this way? About 21 inches going the other way. So I'm going to take these tails, pinch it in the middle. I'm going to go back to my bow. I'm going to open up these wires here. Okay. I want to find the middle. I'm not going to take this part. So once I find the middle, I'll take this where I have it pinched. I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to twist it a couple of good times. Just like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my grapevine and I want to make sure I have this in the right place. There we go. I'm just going to go to the back and tie it on. Nice and tight. Okay. Now, let's re-fluff your bow a little bit. Now when I went, I went to a floral show back in September and they did one of these there. Now theirs was um, gold, but it kind of gave me an idea of something really cute to do when Christmas time came around. So, what you do is once you get your bow on, Get all your little tails spread out, and you're going to take this ribbon, and you're going to make a nice little loop, pinch it here, okay, and then I'm going to take some more wire, you don't need a lot, just a little bit. And so I've gone down about, let's see, about 10 inches. And then I'm just going to wire it right onto my grapevine. Okay. So I just want to wire that down. Okay. So we'll put something here to cover this. But all you really want to do is tack it, tack it down. Alright. And then what you can do is you can cut it. Now I'm going to cut these at an angle. Like that. There we go. Now with this side, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pinch it here, right here. So that's about 10 inches as well. I'm going to take another piece of wire. Okay, cut that off. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to run my wire right under my grapevine and tack this side. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm doing a deer one, but you don't have to do a deer one. You could do this 
with anything you wanted. And then what you can do is you can put little ornaments here. That's what they did at the show. And it was so adorable. I loved it. So I knew I was going to have to recreate that. Okay, so I'm just going to get my bow refluffed. And then we're going to look at what we're going to put on here. Now, one thing I did want to tell you is that when I saw this at that show, uh, one thing that they did that I'm not doing is they actually had another piece of this tail coming across the middle and then coming down. So you can do that. I think that's really cute. But I'm not going to do that because, I don't know, I just, I just don't want to do that on this one. So what I am going to do is I have these little antlers that are so adorable. Okay. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to slip them behind my ribbon. And they're going to come out like this on the sides. Just like that. Now I will tie them down really well, but I want to make sure that they're where I want them to be before I do that. There we go. Okay? Like that. And I have all kinds of things that I can have coming from behind my ribbon. Okay. I'll cut a little bit of this off. Okay. I have some of this coming out. I love this. This is so pretty. This little kind of kind of greenish with the little sparkle. All right. Put a little bit on this side. There we go. I love to put things in or around my bows, especially when I'm doing something like this because it just kind of, I don't know, makes the bow blend in better. Something like that. Okay. I've got some of this. I think this is really pretty. Okay. We'll cut some of this off. Put a little bit of that. don't want to cover up my antlers because of, I want to be able to see those so I want to be careful what I put around there let's see what we got in this pick let's see let's take I like these these would be perfect to cover the spot where I tied this down, that's perfect. And we'll we're gonna glue that down. Same thing on this side. We'll just glue this down right there. Cover up that little spot. Perfect. Okay, I don't like that there. Let's take that off. All right, so let's get our glue gun going here. And we will work on seeing if we need to put something else in. That's so cute. Okay. So now one thing we can do on this other side here 
you have several options. You can put a sign or you can put a little figurine like this reindeer. I like that. But let's get these on. I think we need a little bit more right in here. So I think we will use this. I like this little pick. It's very cute. So let's kind of put it there. Let's see. You see how that's looking? Isn't that adorable? I like that. I don't know if we'll do that little guy over there or not. Okay, so I am going to put some glue on these little pine cones. Cover up where my wires were. Okay. There we go. Perfect. All right. I think we need just a tad little bit of color over here and then we're gonna be done. a little bit down in here. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Yes, I like it very much. So this is such an easy, quick project, and it's really all about the bow. So let me hang it real quick, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And there it is. Now you could hang it sideways. You could hang it like this. There are a lot of things you could do. You could also put something down here, like a sign. But you'll have to let me know what you thought. And make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.